Hello everybody, in this video I'll take you from Bangkok to Cambodia including the border crossing with a bus company. I'll also show you around my new accommodation so sit down and enjoy the next 10 minutes with me. This is our bus and it's the nicest bus I think I've ever been on. We are so lucky we've got seats to ourselves and they're really comfy as well. So in all that leg room and a leg rest and we've got a little table as well. This is so much more comfortable than a flight. <laughs> Included in the ticket you get a coffee and a croissant as well. We've made it to the Cambodian border now. So we're just going to go through to be stamped out of Thailand and stamped into Cambodia. Another new country for now with a backpack. That's it, we've officially made it into Cambodia. My new country. Yay! Another country. We've arrived and we've got a tuk-tuk that we're going to share for a hundred baht and off we go to our respective hostels. Just arrived at my hostel, the Big Easy. Gets there, there's a group of guys outside. Sorry, your hostel's closed down two nights ago. No, so easy. Yeah, no room, no nothing. He said, we sent out emails. I'm like, well, I haven't got one. So I now have nowhere to stay tonight. So I'm now going to go to Sinead's hostel and beg and pray that they've got a room for me. And after the disaster at the place that I should have stayed at, this is my new place. And it's the same place that Sinead's staying at, Centro Guest House. And it's really nice. Look at that. This is my room here. I'm on floor three, room 303. Oh, the air conditioning is amazing in here. I've got two beds, wonderful air conditioning, pretty rose flower. I've got my own fridge, bedside table. Hello! Bathroom shower. This is very nice. And water. What's the view like out the window? It says pool. Oh, no, I haven't got a pool view. I've got a brick wall view. After the first night, they moved me to a different room because the toilet just kept filling. The cistern was broken. And actually, this room was much nicer. I had a desk and the toilet area was a lot bigger as well, which was very nice. Yeah, I was very comfortable in this room. So I come down from my room and just out here, there is a kettle drinking water, extra toilet. And then we've got a nice private balcony area here. Oh, look at that. This is lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah, very happy. 
my first morning in Cambodia, Siem Reap. So my room is up just around that corner and this is the main square. So last night we came down and ate in this little restaurant here. And I'm now walking down this road towards somewhere called Pub Street to go and investigate and see what is there. Wow. It's very different from anywhere I've ever been. Something tells me I found Pub Street. Goodness me, I bet this is busy at night. I'll have to take a walk down here after dark. Compare the two clips together. Well, there is definitely no shortages of liquid refreshment down here. Although right now, all I'm looking for is a coffee. Wow, look at this place. Gorgeous. So no sightseeing for me today. I'm on a accommodation hunt. I think I found somewhere to book that is a really nice hostel. So I have just been there and stopped for a coffee and lunch. And I met Ray and Robin two subscribers from Nan with a Backpack. They just came up and asked and it was so lovely to meet them. And they are from Australia, WA. So if you are watching, hello, Ray and Robin, I have just said goodbye to you. And now I'm gonna head back and meet Sinead in the accommodation that I'm staying at at the moment. Yeah, and we will, book that accommodation for next week. Decided to take a walk along the river on the way back. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, have a good day. You too. This is beautiful. A lot of people just finishing work and chilling out. There's some um, people playing on their skateboards at a, a skate ramp park over there as well. Practicing their skills, dodging the crocodiles as I walk and the other wild beasties. Oh, this is so nice and the temperature's dropped as well and it doesn't look like we're going to get any rain today because it's rainy season. A lot of the time in the afternoon we get a, I'm going to say a spot of rain, but it's not. It's more like the heavens open and someone chucks a bucket on you. It's a very nice day today. I found this little cafe called BioCaf and all the glasses I like little test tubes. Come into this restaurant for some chicken and rice and when you order your dinner, you get some free iced tea. I am so hungry and I'm looking forward to this so much.
I am getting my hair done in this little salon. Just this one, just here. Has my hair cut, and you do, from this salon here, so I can highly recommend it. Sinead and I have just found this really nice restaurant and it is gorgeous. Time to leave. I've been in Centro Hotel, private room now for six nights. I will put the price in up here. It's been really comfortable, but I am now moving to Nonny Tree, which is a dorm room in a hostel, just because it is about a third of the price. So I'm gonna order a tuk-tuk and head off over to my new hostel and I should be able to check in within the next two hours.